Hey everyone, it's Hello Lab Group, and today we're going to be playing a game called Freshman Year. Um, it's a pretty random indie game I found on Steam, and I have no idea what it's about. And we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Alright. You're sitting on your laptop in bed. You live in the dorm with your best friend Jenna. She's not home. You're scrolling through a Facebook album of pictures from a party you went to last week. And all of your friends look totally wasted. You're glad that you didn't end up in any of the pictures. Okay, there's us. Oh, got a message. Okay. Hey, are you coming out tonight? Some of us are meeting at the- at that bar Crowley's. By Jenna. Okay. Alright. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. Wanna go together? Or cool, I'm being lazy for a bit, but... Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. This one sounds more like freshman year. Okay. You look back at Facebook and scroll through your newsfeed. There's a picture of you with Jenna. You're both posing with your hands on your hips, wearing tiny dresses. You stare at the picture and feel a little bad. Jenna is so much thinner than you. Oh. Okay, here we go. Jenna. Okay, meet up in like an hour. Alright, too tired to dress up for dancing, but I will get ready now. Or is anyone going to be there? Is anyone cool going to be there? Should I wear that new skirt? We're going to go with that. Okay. You decide that you'll wear this new skirt. It's short, tight, and black. All the other girls have been wearing these little things, and you think you'd look good in one too. You wear it with a fitted black t-shirt and a long necklace with a clock on it. You feel like you look pretty cute. You just need to put on a little makeup. Okay. Girl, everyone from the floor will be there. You should totally hook up with Tyler. Okay. Ah ha 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 ha. Yeah, we'll see. Thought she was wearing a fitted black shirt, but uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. You dig your makeup bag out of your backpack and put on your, some mascara. It looks nice, but you can see in the mirror that you smudged a bit near your temple. How do you get mascara? I'm just- okay. You remember looking into the mirror last weekend, alone in your bathroom, after puking for at least an hour. You had too many Long Island iced teas as usual. <laughs> Sounds like freshman year. And your mascara had gotten smudged all over your cheeks from crying. It's always hard for you to tell how many drinks is too many. You wonder why Jenna is being so slow to reply. Story of everyone's life freshman year. Okay. I will get you a drink. I owe you like 20. Sounds reasonable. Wow, she replied fast this time. Aw, uh, you don't have to do that. I make way more money than you do. I'm Mrs. Moneybags over here. Okay, Jenna, thanks. Don't worry about it. Heart, I owe you. You head out of the dorm towards Crawley's. It's really dark out, but there are a lot of kids running around outside. They're all from your school, probably. Probably. You see some people from your class running by to some party. Another one of your friends waves and asks, Where are you going tonight? You pull your skirt down awkwardly and tell her that you're meeting up with Jenna. You should probably send her a text. Why are we pulling our skirt down? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Uh... On my way. Crawley's is super close, and you're sure that Jenna is going to be late. She's always late, and you're always early. So you have a secret hope that she'll prove you wrong this one time. She'll sometimes say that she's on her way, but it usually means she's smoking weed. She's your best friend, though, so you always forgive her for leaving you hanging. Unfortunately, Crawley's is already really close, and you can see it a block away. Where the heck is Jenna? She's probably being stupid because she sounds like a horrible friend. Okay. Uh, I'm almost there, but I'm a little early. Should I wait outside? Cool. It's been at least ten minutes since you showed up outside the bar, and no sign of Jenna. A tall bouncer is always there, asks you how you're doing. You tell him you're waiting for a friend, and he asks you which one. You tell him that you're waiting for Jenna. He says he doesn't know her, but that he sees you around a lot with your friends. He's really friendly, and feels nice to have someone to talk to while you wait for Jenna. Finally, some of your old friends from school show up. The bouncer recognizes them and doesn't card them. Of course, they're all 18 and 19, but this bar never cards. 
You think you'll text Jenna and then follow them in. Still no text from Jenna. We don't know where she is. Okay, ooh. Yikes, okay. The bouncer is really nice. I'm gonna head inside. I'm gonna head inside. Okay. You're hanging out with your friends drinking a Long Island iced tea as usual, of course. Uh, the music is really loud and you're sort of half dancing, attempting not to spill your drink on your outfit. You stand on your tiptoes mid-sway, peering over your friends' heads towards the entrance, wondering where Jenna is. Did she text you yet? Nope, of course she didn't, because why would she text you? Because you're her... you're her duff. I'm dancing and it's fun. Hope you get here soon. Are you okay? It hasn't been that long, so we're gonna be fun about it. Your friends are pretty wasted at this point, and you're feeling a little dizzy yourself. You wonder if Jenna is outside smoking, so you'll get up and check. It's weird hanging out with all these other people anyways. You only started school a month ago, and you haven't really gotten close to any of them other than Jenna. Sounds like Jenna's bogarting you. Maybe you should stop worrying about Jenna and make real friends. Still no text from Jenna. Okay. Meet me outside if you're here. Are you smoking out front? You wave to the bouncer from earlier as you pass him on the top of the stairs. You step down slowly with your right hand firmly on the railing. You're more drunk than you thought. You guess that standing up really made it hit you. You can see why the bouncer went upstairs when you step outside. It got pretty cold. There's no one out front of Crawley's. You sigh and turn around to go back inside, but the bouncer is there. He says, Still looking for your friend? What's her name, Jenna? Still no text from her. Uh, I just came out to look for her, actually. And he's just like, What's up, girl? This guy's a creep. I can already tell. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. You're a pretty girl, though. I'm sure you've got other people to chill with. You laugh awkwardly. Is he hitting on you? You wish Jenna would get here already. This dude is giving me bad vibes. Still no text from Jenna. Oh, that's nice. I just don't know many people here yet. I only moved to New York a month ago. Yeah, it must be New York City because there's a stoop thing here. He says, I saw you dancing up there. You looked like you were having a good time. You laugh again and nod your head, but you feel a little self-conscious. You don't like when people watch you dance. No one does. Okay, still no text from Jenna. She's probably fucking around somewhere. Classic. This is this is really classic. Jenna! You start to walk back inside, but at the bottom of the stairs, the bouncer asks, What's your name? He passes you and leans on the stair railing. Still no text from Jenna, and this creep's moving in. Okay, now we know our name. Our name is Nina. So, oh, I'm Nina. He says, cool, I'm Clark. Are you going to go back and dance? You feel like he'll watch you again if you go and dance. He's sort of cute, but he still makes you feel awkward. Because he's a freak. Get the hell out of here. Still no text from Jenna. We have, I'm giving up on Jenna at this point. Uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe. You start to head up the stairs. You, oh, oh. Oh my god. That escalated quickly. Oh my god. Nina? You hear a familiar voice. Jenna. But you can't hear very well over the sound of the bouncer sucking on your neck and pounding in your ears from being drunk or maybe you're just startled he turns away quickly stepping aside hey you're jenna he asks you feel like your back is glued to the wall and you start breathing quickly you walk over to jenna trying to look calm she says let's go in and grabs your hand leading you upstairs there's jenna action movie shot fuck jenna he just started making out with me all of a sudden thank god you showed up yeah, seriously. Jenna raises her eyebrows and turns all the way to face you. Oh my god, yeah, he totally did the same thing to Liz, but I guess she went along with it and they fucked in the bathroom. What the hell, though? He's so creepy. I agree with Jenna. She is right. Jenna turns away and pushes through the crowd to the bar. 
You stand back, leaning against the wall, resting your head on a mirror. You want to go home, but you're not going to walk by that bouncer alone again. You also don't want to make Jenna take you home because she just got here. At this point, I would call an Uber and be like, get me the fuck out of here, please. Okay. You stand waiting and look back into the mirror. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, that was it. Wow. Yeah. That got real really quick. I was expecting it to be some, like, party story, and it kind of turned out to be, like, the unparty story. It's pretty sad that that's a reality for people out there. Kind of a messed up world we're living in right now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I hope to see you next time. Bye! I'm really uncomfortable. Oh no, I unleashed hell! Oh, 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 oh my god, y'all, my heart's pounding. <gasps> Let's go say hey to our friend! Here we go, through the dark! <laughs>